to Martha's Kitchen where we cook and serve with love. And in today's video, I would like to share with you a photo of how my flowers have really bloomed. It's so exciting for me who's trying out gardening. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I do wish you all the best. And in today's video, I would like to teach you how to make custard. This is so easy, it'll blow your mind. So let's get cooking. And here are ingredients. You will be needing 200 ml of milk, then you'll be needing some sugar, then you'll also be needing some custard powder. So let's continue cooking. Step number one, always mix your ingredients first and for this purposes we are going to use a small bowl like so and a tablespoon. So I'm going to make custard for one person and what I'm going to do is just put in one tablespoon. That is enough for one person. Like I've always said, if you're making for more people, always double or triple the ingredients depending on how many persons you have. Then next I'm going to put one tablespoon sugar or three quarters of a tablespoon because I'm not really such a sugar person. But sugar will give you that nice oomph and taste in your custard. Then we are going to put in our milk, three tablespoons of milk from our 200 ml. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and mix. You'll find that it's a little bit sticky when you're trying to mix it up all together. And that's why we try to mix uh, the custard powder with the sugar and the milk before we add it into the other milk. Don't use water for custard powder. It only does and goes well with milk. This will take you roughly just one minute and you should be having a really nice smooth mixture like so. And now your custard is ready to cook. So let's go ahead and continue cooking. Excellent. So we are going to go ahead and cook our custard. Make sure that you switch on your stove to the lowest heat so that your custard can cook really slowly and without any lumps. And then once it started boiling, just pour in your custard like so, and then mix it up with your spoon before it creates any lumps until it's all integrated. Wonderful. Then you can give it about two seconds for your custard to start gathering up and forming or becoming a little bit heavy. Excellent. You'll just see it starting to form a little bit. Take your spoon again and then mix it, mix it, mix it. Nice and gently all the way around until it's all mixed up. Custard should take you two minutes and it should be perfectly done. Excellent. So this is what your custard will look like after two minutes. It's nice and smooth and perfectly cooked. Excellent. So let's go ahead and taste it. Mmm. 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 This pasta 
that is so, so good. It'll blow your mind. Please go ahead and just eat it like so. Or for that extra oomph, try it with some cake or some bananas. You will never regret it. And for those of you who like the videos that I'm channeling out every week, kindly press the like and the subscribe button and let's meet here every Mondays for a new and exciting recipe. And don't forget that this recipe is typed down in the description box down below. So have yourselves a great week and bye!